Hey there, I'd just like to welcome you to this course and congratulate you for making this investment. Throughout this course, I'll be guiding you from start to finish on everything you need to know to guarantee the page one rankings on Google and how to make money online with this system. To kickstart the course without further delay, we're going to begin with market research where you will learn how to choose a profitable niche and product to promote for your site. There are a couple of niche finder tools that I will be introducing to you and the first one is called 43things.com. Basically, this is a website where people visit to share their goals and if you haven't figured already, this is a real goal mine because there are live feedback and actual market insights that people are contributing at 43things.com. So by taking a look at under the world's most popular goals, you can see over here, these are the top 100 goals listed based on the large number of contributors to this site. And if you look over here, it is no surprise why the weight loss niche is so popular because when you look at this, the number one goal that most people have declared is in here is weight loss. With that said, you can see that there's really a whole bunch of niche ideas that you can actually pluck out from and expand on because just by going through the list very quickly here, you can see there are a lot of people who want to learn how to stop procrastinating. They want to write a book. They want to fall in love. The dating niche is another popular and profitable one. They want to learn how to be happy. And if you scroll down some more, the number of niche ideas you can gather from this just grows more and more. Let's look at just a few more here. Learn how to play guitar. Learn French, learn Japanese, exercise regularly, eat healthier, and be more confident, etc., etc. This is really just a starting point for you to kind of get some ideas on what might be a potential niche that you might be interested to dive into. Personally, I would suggest that you attempt to start your first site with something that you are extremely passionate about. This way, it'd be easier for you to create and write the content that's within the area of your interest. So be sure to check out this site over here at 43things.com. Look under the world's most popular goals to use these keywords to expand on some niche ideas. Put them in your idea bucket and we will learn how to dig deeper into each and every one of them. The next niche finder tool we're going to explore is called Google product search. This is a tool that is under the radar and not widely used by a lot of internet marketers. Perhaps it's undiscovered, but in here you'll find a gold mine as well, especially if you intend to build websites where you'll be selling physical products and tangible goods. As you can see in here also, there are a whole lot of keywords which give you actual feedbacks from searches. The nice thing about the Google product search tool is that it not only tells us what people are searching for, but what people are looking to buy. Simply because this is a product search tool and people come in here to use this tool to look for products. So how you use this tool is to basically refresh the page and each time you do that, new keyword ideas will be displayed. As you can see over here, we have some ideas like birthstone ring, ruby ring, McAfee virus scan 8.0. You may potentially rank for these long tail keywords. To get more out of this tool, you may also type in something at the search bar. It could be some tangible items that you might be interested in such as hunting gears, PS3 games, products, and etc. We can also dig a little deeper into these keywords that are displayed over here. So let's give the running shoe keyword idea a try. Currently, the keyword running shoes is a relatively broad term. But when you click into this keyword link and dig into the second level of the search, you can see a whole list of new keywords that you can possibly rank for. We have keywords like Nike Lunar Swift and Essex Gel Kayona. These are long tail keywords that you can rank for easily because the competition levels for such keywords are usually relatively low. On top of that, the best part about these kind of long tail product keywords is that they are extremely targeted. This normally indicates that the searchers 
buyer's intent is high and that means that the likelihood of you converting them to sales is also much higher. So with the Google product search tool, there are numerous ideas you can, again, put into your idea bucket. The next tool I'd like to introduce to you is ClickBank. This is one of my favorite places and it is one of the most popular affiliate network that many internet marketers started online with. How we use this niche finder tool here is to start off at the marketplace. The link is located at the top right of the page and in here you will see a whole list of products that you can promote. Next, what you want to do is look over at the categories on the left panel and again, just pull down a broad category that you might be interested in. It could be business, computers, cooking, food, wine, games, health, fitness, home and garden, etc. For each of these categories, you'll need to expand and dig deeper into them. From there, you'll form a long list of ideas that you can expand on. So let's dig into a category right now and find a niche that we can penetrate into. As you can see under home and garden, we have woodworking, shed plants, dog training, and there's really an unlimited number of niches you can go into. And for those of you who might not be familiar with ClickBank, I'll just give you a very brief rundown on what all these product statistics means. Basically, the initial dollar per sale here is the average amount that you would earn from each sale. In the case for this particular woodworking, when you've successfully made a sale through your affiliate link, you'll earn an average of $31 per sale. Personally, I would normally go for products that make a payout of above $20. This is because if you are going to spend the effort on your campaign anyway, you might as well make them worthwhile. This percentage sign over here is percentage payout that you'll get per sale. So when the initial dollar per sale payout is $31, the 75% as indicated over here means that cost of the product which is probably about $47. Gravity, on the other hand, is basically an indicator that tells how many affiliates have successfully promoted and made a sale for this product. In this example, woodworking.com, it seems that 119 affiliates have successfully made at least one sale in the past 30 days. So for gravity, I would normally go for anything that is above 10. This is just to make sure that some affiliates have had success promoting this guide and this gives us an idea that the merchant's sales page actually converts. That basically sums up what the statistic represents. So just make sure for the average sale, promote a product that has an initial dollar for sale of more than $20 and a gravity of more than 10. Right now, I am just going to scroll down a little bit more and just see if there's anything interesting that we can promote. Here's an interesting one how to build a chicken coop. Many wouldn't have guessed that there's a demand for chicken coop plants, but it seems like there is. The statistics here fit the criteria as we've talked about earlier. It has a gravity of above 10 and an initial sale per dollar of about $20 when we round it up. So let's just give this one a try. Once you have identified a couple of potential niches that you'd like to penetrate into, we need to filter them. One of the filters that will help us identify whether this would be a profitable niche or not is Google Trends. Basically, what we need to do here is paste the broad keyword in here. In our example, we'll paste chicken coop over here and then click on search trends. What we want to look for is basically a healthy trend. In this chicken coop example, this is a really good indication because this keyword search has been increasing over the years on an upward trend and therefore seem to be a spike normally towards the end of the year, which is December. At the time of recording this video, we're actually entering into the last quarter of the year. So this might just be an excellent time to start developing a chicken coop site to monetize the most of it towards the end of the year. 
Another feature in this tool you could use is to look over at the regions where people are searching for this term from. In this example, we have most of our searches from Ireland, Australia, New Zealand, United Kingdom, and Canada. This is a great sign because these are top countries where most of the online sales are transaction. With that said, this is a really good indication. The final filtering you would want to do is to use the Add Preview tool. All you need to do is insert your keyword in here again to see whether people are advertising in this niche. Again, this is a really good indicator. On the right and first result here, where it says sponsored links, these are the spaces where people are actually paying to get their ads shown for this search term. Whereas over here, these are the free results, which we are going to rank for using this system you are currently learning for free. Hence, on the whole, the niche we have discovered here seems to be a good one. The Google trend is an upward trend and using the ad preview tool, we see advertising paying money to get their ads shown. With all these indicators, we have decided to go into this niche. Once we've confirmed that, the last thing to do is to head back to ClickBank and just click the promote button to get your affiliate tracking ID. You will need to register an account with ClickBank first if you don't already have one. Once you do, just type in your account nickname and click create over here. Grab this URL, paste it into a notepad because we'll be using it later for the site building section. This is the end of the market research module. I hope the niche finder tools I've shown you in here helped you find your niche. Remember to use the filters to make sure your niche is profitable. Once you have done that, I'll see you in the next video.